Hi there, this is Miles from VMware, and this is part two in a two-part series on the Data Persistence Platform. This time, I wanna show you how this reacts to failures. So we can see here that everything's up and running and everything is healthy. And there are two places that you can look at that. You can either look at that in the Minio UI here under tenants. You can see that it's up and it's healthy, or we can go to monitor and if we go to the vSAN section and we go to Skyline Health, all of the health of this environment is bubbled up into Skyline Health. So even application level stuff now. So if we look here, we can see there's the Minio service and the storage is all good with the Minio service. So if I click on that, you can see what instance it is, what namespace it's in, how many disks are online versus offline, is it healthy? So if you build alerting around Skyline Health, all of your application health will be bubbled up into that as well. So it's really a single stop place to get all of the information about your environment and the services on top of it. So let's fail one of these hosts and show you what happens. So if we look at our console here, that is on 59.13. So if we take 59.13 and we put it into maintenance mode, so we'll hit enter maintenance mode. We'll say, yep, ensure accessibility, what you'll see is it's going to evacuate all of the data off of that node and additionally evacuate any Minio instances on that node as well because it knows that it can't move the data. The data is kept in a single place and it is linked intrinsically to the compute node that it's attached to. And that's by design. Um, these applications, Minio, Cloudian, cloud native applications and databases do their own replication. So we let them take advantage of that uh, placement of data in a single place. So you'll see here that it's, it knew that the console was gonna go away. So it spun up another instance of the console. The console is portable. It can move around on different nodes, but you'll notice that uh, zone zero zero is now gone. And that is by design. Minio can tolerate a failure of that kind. So if we go back into our compute cluster here, we go to configure and we go back down to Minio uh, tenants again. You can see now that the Minio tenant says health is about to lose quorum, but it is still up and running. So if I go into health here, what you'll see is one of the servers is sitting as pending. That's because it is affinitized to the node that we put into maintenance mode. At this point, the service is still available up and running and storing data normally. So if we take it back out of maintenance mode, so we go to maintenance mode, we'll exit maintenance mode. That will then allow Minio to reattach the volumes that were hosted on that local instance, on that local host, up into the zero zero zone. So it will be able to spin that zero zero pod back up and fully regain its health. Additionally, while this is doing that, if we go into monitor and skyline health, what you'll see is whenever it loads up under the Minio section, there you go. Online disks 12, offline disks four, so the health is orange. It says about to lose quorum. So the health status that's in the Minio UI is also reflected in Skyline Health. And as I was doing that, you can see here on the left-hand side, Minio backups zone 00 has come back up again. It's currently being placed. So these are all vSphere native pods and it's had its data mounted back into it again. So you can see it's attaching container volumes there in the task view at the bottom. So all the container volumes are now mounted back into that node again. That will allow Minio to reestablish quorum and come back into a healthy state. So if we go back into configure here and down to our Minio section once again under tenants, you'll see it is now listed as healthy again. If we go back into our name, or into our uh, instance, we click health, we can see that that's all healthy, and back in vSphere health under Skyline, we can see that the Minio service is now healthy again. So that's just giving you an overview of how you deploy a supervisor service from data persistence platform inside of vSphere with Tanzu, and additionally, how you spin up an instance of one of those services. So we saw Minio, and how we deal with failures and come back from failures in these environments, even though there are no copies of the data at the infrastructure layer, we're allowing and communicating with the application to let it take full command 
of how that infrastructure and how that storage is managed.